What's going on, everybody? Man, man, I've been real excited, you know, uh, even even a little anxious too, you know, to get this video up and going. Um, you know, I got a lot of questions, you know, to me, to, you know, my close family. And, you know, I think uh, everybody really been wondering, you know, really what's what's kind of been going on with Kev. Uh, you know, what you've been doing over the last year. Are you still playing ball? You know, are you trying to play? I know, you know, I know y'all haven't, uh, y'all ain't seen me out there on the field. I know y'all, I know y'all miss me out there. You know, trust me, I miss it out there for sure. But, you know, I really, I really didn't give out a statement or anything about, you know, what was going on and what I was doing. Uh, I spent the last five years with the Packers. Well, before, before this, uh, before the year that I took off, uh, I spent playing with the Packers. You know, it was some of the best times of my life. You know, I learned a lot. Uh, still learning, you know, from the experiences that I've, that I've had there and lifelong friendships and everything. And after after my fifth year, you know, after my fifth year with the Packers, um, I was actually pretty healthy. You know, it was it was a time where I felt pretty good, you know, for the first time in a while. You know, um, my first four years, I had like I had a surgery after every year. So I really didn't have, you know, too much of a chance to have an off season. Um, I really just went under the needle, you know, and then I make my way back up, you know, just right to go out there and really get fucked up again the next year type of thing. Um, you know, but shit, that's what come with it. You know, we, we warriors, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what we do. So we're going to fight against that, you know, regardless. Um, but the thing with that though is, you know, they don't really talk about the, the wear and tear on your mental, you know what I'm saying? That, that it does, um, you know, dealing with injuries, you know, that, that's something that, you know, not all athletes, um, you know, have that journey, you know, of, of injuries, you know, we all, we all have little nicks and stuff, but it comes a time where it's like, man, like this has never really happened to me like this, you know? And, uh, you know, it's crazy to, you know, you trying to, you trying to play every week and, you know, something is something is just not feeling right, you know, and then it gets to the point where it's also like, man, fuck this. Like, you know, forget all this. Like, I ain't trying to be no, you feel me? Like, I'm just going to go out there and do it. You know, I'm going to go out there and play. I'm, I'm going to play through it. I'm going to do it. And, you know, we got the week. It's, you know, that, that, that wear and tear right there is crazy. And to be honest with you, I don't know, you know, another year or two of, you know, game day decisions and just little stuff like that. I don't, you know. I don't, I don't know if I could have did that. So after my fifth year, you know, I, I was in a spot where I was healthy. You know, I was, I was playing, I was playing good ball, um, you know, helping my team, doing what I needed to do. You know, but at the same time, I knew that I wasn't done. You know what I mean? I, I knew that. Um, I knew that if I really took care of myself and took care of my body, you know, and for the, for the type of time or the type of player that I know I can be, you know, I... I wanted to take some time to myself. And so, you know, I made that decision. You know, I told, you know, told uh, my brothers and sisters, you know, my, my girl, some of my family members, you know, I told them about the decision I was going to make. You know, I, I sat down and, you know, I, I wanted to, uh, it felt like the perfect time for me. You know, I, I wasn't in no contract. Um, you know, it wasn't nothing I had to had to tell a team like, oh, I want to take a time off. You know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't signed to nobody. Um, I was healthy, you know, so I actually could, you know, have some time to myself to really go out there and get it. And, uh, you know, I, I needed some time to really, you know, to, to get my mind back right into, you know, really going out there and doing what I needed to do. So, yeah, no, it was, it was you know, something I was proud of, you know, stepping into it. I didn't know how I was going to feel uh, going into I didn't know how I was going to feel once the season came around again, you know, and I'm watching the guys play. I didn't know if I would want to watch them play. Um, it was crazy, you know, because I, I went into it, you know, knowing that this is something that I wanted to do, but not knowing like how I was going to feel throughout it, you know. And it's crazy, you know, now, now that, you know, that year has actually played out, you know, looking back on it, it's good. It's I'm, I could say that I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of how I attacked it. You know, I, I made a plan for things. You know, I said, um, you know, okay, regardless of what's going on, um, I'm, I'm not going to take any calls. I told my agent, you know, to what to relate to teams and everything. And, 
you know, I told him I didn't even want to hear nothing about it. I don't want to hear the money thing. I don't want to hear nothing because it's not about the money, you know. So, uh, that was that was that was tough, you know. Um, hearing all the little stuff and people asking me or telling me like, "Hey, I know, you know, they 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 gonna sign you, bro. They tripping. They gonna, you know." And really, you know, I'm not really the one that try to clear shit up, you know. And cause I cause I knew that I was, you know, what I'm saying that I, that I was on my path, you know, what I'm saying and I had my plan and I was. I, I felt really good about that. And I even, even now, you know what I'm saying, I really want to give myself, you know, a round of applause, you know, because I did everything I said I was going to do. You know, I, I attacked the weight room, you know, wanted to get my body back in that college, like, tip-top condition, you know, to where I'm, you know, literally in the best shape of my life type of thing, not really, you know. I uh, really wanted to make those gains, you know, I really... Hadn't really had that chance in a, in a while, you know, to to make those gains, and so I knew that, you know, just the type of person, the type of you know how my mind was growing, that my body would grow that same way, you know. So, I um, you know, I made a schedule, you know, I I got in the weight room, you know, back back on some college shit, you know what I mean, like really really in there lifting, going, you know, you know what I'm saying, going crazy, you know, uh, pushing those limits, and. You know, my, my body responded really well. You know, I, I got my diet right. Um, got in that boxing gym, got them hands right. Well, got them hands certified. You know what I mean? Them hands been right, but got them hands certified. Uh, you know, it really, really kind of just uh, fell in love with me. You know, fell in love with uh, just becoming, you know, the, the best the best version of myself and you know I, you hear people say that all the time you know how kind of please say that is or whatnot but you know that's that's real you know and it kind of took me to step away from you know from football to see the type of person that i wanted to be just just kid you know what i mean like i didn't want to be that person that was just working out or running just because okay yeah this is my job you know but um you know, doing your research and things, you find that the the benefits, you know what I'm saying, of a of a schedule and of a healthy lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, and really wanting to go get that for yourself. You know what I mean? And that that made that made the whole difference to me. Of course when we play, it's like, all right, you better get your ass up or you're gonna get fine. You know what I mean? Like little things like that, and then something, okay, yeah, I'ma do it, I'ma do it. You know, but when you getting up by yourself, you know what I mean? And like they say, you already got the silk sheets and everything. You know what I'm saying? That like I had to turn myself into like that different type of monster, you know, like to where I didn't care about all the other shit. But this is I'm doing this for me. You know what I mean? It don't got it don't got nothing to do with if I ever play football again. You know what I mean? I always knew that that's where my that's that's what's going to happen. But it didn't have nothing to do with that, you know, and I was real proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? But my mindset. um, you know, about the way that others around me responded to it as well. My close knit, you know what I'm saying, my close knit friends, my, my girl, my my brothers, you know, my, my boys, uh, the people who I train with, everybody, you know, everybody was on that type of time. You know, everybody was all about, you know, bettering themselves and they knew I was serious, you know what I mean? So they, they took it serious as well. And so that kind of stuff is, is contagious, you know, it's, that is it, it really is. And, you know, I'm 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 so glad to, you know, have um, help build that, you know, just with, you know, my little core, my core group. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm feeding off them as well. You know, that, that's the main thing is being able to, you know, uh, to give and, and, and receive in, in that aspect. So then, you know, so then the time came around where, um, you know, they start playing, you know, and I'm watching and, you know, I'm watching my boys out there playing. I'm so excited. It's crazy. And I'm, I, I love that I had this reaction to it. You know, I'm, I'm out there watching and I didn't feel like, like, oh, I could, I could do that. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like, man, these niggas out here, man, like, and they weak. And you feel me? Like, I didn't feel like that, like jealousy towards them. You know what I mean? I felt like when I seen, you know what I'm saying? When I seen my dogs make a play, do they shit, I'm teed up. You know what I mean? I'm watching little things, the safeties and all, you know, little things like that. I'm, I'm watching, I'm tied in. I'm like, damn, like, I belong out there. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's how I felt. I ain't feeling some like, like, damn, like, they taking my shine or like, nah, I just felt like, man, like, I'm watching my dogs, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, it's only a matter of time and I'm gonna have my time out there too. So I, uh, 
it's crazy. I, I was so happy, you know, just and content with myself that that was, you know, the reaction I had to that. Uh, just seeing my guys out there balling, you know, what I mean, I'm I'm watching, I'm watching all the plays, and it's kind of it's getting me so excited, you know, going back into my workout. So I'm getting it, you feel me? And like that shit got me to a point where it's like, you know what, like I'm I'm ready, you know, what I mean, I'm I'm ready to get back out there, you know, what I mean, I'm ready to, uh, you know, to be out there, back out there with my dogs, you know, what I mean, because that's you know, that, that's a feeling you won't never forget right there. You know, being out there um, in front of all them all them lights and everything, but being out there with your dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that that's what makes everything worth it. So then it then it got to that time, you know, that playoff time, you know, uh, December, January, February. You know, I'm getting I'm getting calls. I'm talking to my agent. Uh, I'm getting calls, you know, about if I want to play in the playoffs and you know things like that. And um, I mean, I knew it was gonna be like that, you know. But when, when you actually getting them calls and you seeing them games and stuff, it kind of, you know, I, I, I had to uh, I had to turn my eye to those calls. But you know, then it got to Super Bowl got played, you know. And now and now it's time to get ready for next year, you know. Now you know, my agent. I'm talking to my agent. Uh, you know, he he didn't talk to teams. They interested. They you know they want me to come in for visits and we planning all type of stuff. You know, and then then we get a call that that our boy Justin, you know, R. I. P. Jew, we got we got a call that that he had passed away. You know, kind of had to put things on hold for a second. Um, you know, that was that that was that was one of our guys. You know, that was my little brother's one of, one of my little brother's best friends. You know, he he was around a lot. Brought a whole lot of energy, just you know, to the Nine. gang, to everybody, Nine. Nine. and uh, Nine. Nine. man, you know, that was that was, that was something that uh, that that hit everybody real hard, you know, at that time, and it's something we're still going through. It's only been it's only been maybe a month or two since then. It's something that uh, you know everybody's still coping from, and you know we were dealing with that, but then probably a few uh, a few days later. Crazy few days later, I'm training, you know, working out, just running around. Boom. I knew it. I fucking knew it. My, took a step. I looked back. Nobody was behind me. Fucking tore my Achilles. Like, I'm really sitting there, like, not saying a word, like, you know, trying to, that's kind of really how, how I, uh, how I deal with shit. I try to deal with it in my head first before I just tweak. <laughs> um, I'm sitting there for a while now and I knew it, you know, cause I've been around it a little bit, you know, her stories, how I feel and kind of what's, what's going on, but I couldn't believe it, you know. I'm sitting there really just trying to, you know, just trying to get my thoughts together, really trying to figure out what's going on. You know, but at the same time, it's like two days ago, my little bro just passed away. Like, I'm sitting there talking to myself, literally like, nobody know what's going on. But I'm like, damn, like, there's no way I can sit here and really be tripping too much. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what the fuck going on. And my, my little bro just lost his life. Like, like, I didn't really even know how to like, I didn't know how to feel. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know, like, you know, like, I, I knew that I just went through, some, through something crazy. You feel me? And of course, I had my tears, you know what I mean? I, you know, I, I, I feel like I expressed that, you know, cause that shit suck for sure, you know, but we all got, we all going through shit. You know what I mean? Like, ain't no woe is me. You know what I mean? It never could be no woe is me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I've, I've been blessed, you know, and I'm, uh, you know, People around me are blessed, you know, healthy, and everybody's going through their stuff. But, you know, that, that was just a tough thing for me to swallow. And I'm really still, you know, still processing that and uh, really figuring out how I feel, you know, saying uh, about those things. Like, you know, I knew, I knew this past year, you know, the way I was attacking it, the way I was, the way I was getting it, I knew that I was getting ready. And once that year was done, I knew that I was ready. You feel me? Like, but 
You know, they, they say you try to, uh, you want to hear God laugh. You tell him your, you know, tell him your plans. I, I had no idea what I was getting ready for, you know, and, um, you know, that, that, that came pretty evident, you know, kind of as things unfolded. And, um, you know, it's never, like I said before, it ain't never know what was me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like every type of adversity, every type of obstacle, anything like that, like that shit just gonna make this story even sweeter. You feel me? Like, cause I'm at a point now where like, hmm, I'm not, I don't have to prove shit to myself. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm to the point where like I know, you know, kind of like I know who I am. You know what I mean? And if I do what I gotta do, then you know it's only a matter of time, you know, before things unfold how they're supposed to unfold. Now, you know how that journey's gonna go. You know, I'm hey, I'm all ears now. I'm just, you know, what I mean, I'm I gotta do my part. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, I, I, that's just how life goes. You know what I mean? And that's. Um, Sometimes we get caught up and you know just just getting where we need to go, but it's crazy because that's that's actually the beauty of it, you know what I mean? And, and as crazy as fucked up as that sound, you know we all gonna go through shit, you know what I mean? But you know how you come out of it, you know what I mean? That's that's what really you know defines you as a person. So that happened, you know, tore tore my Achilles. I knew it. Next day, you know, went to the ER. Uh, no, not next day. That night, went to the ER, and got some images done. Um, they confirmed it. Well, kind of confirmed that the lady was giving me the run around. She didn't. She was scared. She knew I popped my shit, but she didn't want to tell me I popped my shit. So I was a little irritated with her. Like, girl, just say something. But she was. She was. I feel it. Like she. She really didn't want to just tell me. Like, okay, you tore your. You ruptured your Achilles. But like she was giving me the run around, <laughs> like that shit was just making me irritated. But that's besides the fact that I know she was just she uh I know she got felt a little bad for me, but I damn just tell the nigga what's going on. Uh, but you know, I had surgery. I had surgery a few weeks after that. Went to the best surgeon in the world, the best foot doctor in the world. Shout out Bob Anderson, my guy, you know what I mean? Green Bay Packers. Um about went out to Charlotte. When I was here to fall, shout out to shout out my boy Ja, Ja Money. Went out to Charlotte. Got right, you know what I mean? Got got me uh, clipped up, sold up, you know. That was about a month ago. And you know, I really I've been I've been healing ever since. It's a it's it's a long process, you know, it's um it's a long process. They say it's about three, three or four months in a boot. You know, and then um, I'm booting crutches and whatnot. And then after there, I could really start healing. Um, well, not healing, but start the rehab and uh, start getting back to, you know, <laughs> getting right for sure. Since then, though, you can't let shit happen to you and then just let it alter, you know what I mean, everything you had going on. You know what I mean? Like, Okay, that happened to me. I had to take, you know, a week or two to really figure out, you know, what I was going to do next. You know, I had things planned or what I was going to do, you know, but you can't just sit around moping for hell long. You feel me? Like, you got to like, okay, this shit happened. Let me go back to the drawing board, you know, draw the new plan. You feel me? Well, not new plan because shit don't change, but, you know, revise it. You feel me? Got to revise it. And now we got to press play. I had my first day back in the gym uh, a few weeks ago. I was in there hobbling around on my little scooter and you know what I mean? But that that just makes me want to get up and do it more because I know that I can't be stopped. You know what I mean? Like little things like that, that just that keep keep you going. You know what I mean? I, I know that this shit is way bigger than football. It's way bigger than, you know, way bigger than everything. You know, I got um, I got a real life family that really believe in me. You know what I mean? And and outside of football, you know what I mean? They believe me as a person and I believe, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I believe in them too. And you know, that's why you gotta have that why behind you. You know, things that make you go stronger when you, you don't even have it in you or you feel like you don't have it in you, you know? And that's why my support system and, you know, my close knit have been, you know, really, uh, really great for me. You know, now, 
now we on this journey. You know, we, uh, it's crazy because, you know, that year journey I took last year was something I had to get my mind right. I really wanted to, you know, something I didn't want to talk about. But it wasn't like a, I felt bad talking about it. I was just, I had tunnel vision. You know what I mean? I, I, I had tunnel vision. I knew what I was going to do. I knew a lot of people wouldn't understand, but I didn't care about all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I put my headphones on and went to work. This journey, you know, I, I'm excited to share. You know, I'm uh, going on my Achilles journey, my rehab, you know, but at the same time, I'm still making those gains, you know, because I'm not starting from where I started from last year. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at a whole, you know, I'm, I'm a whole, I'm on a whole new level now. You know, so I can't let setbacks or not setbacks, but I can't let, you know, life set me back. You know, if if that makes sense. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm really excited, you know, for this journey, you know, because I'm built for it. You know, been built for it. You know what I mean? And uh, if, if my journey in any way can help y'all, you know, realize that y'all built for it, too. And if you don't think you built for it, you can build yourself for anything. You know what I mean, and so uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm really excited to get it going. I got the I got the boot, the swaggiest boot y'all never seen. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I still get my fits off and all that, but appreciate y'all. That's uh, we're finna get it.